Hi, it's Friday the 16th of April and uh, it's about quarter to 11. I've been going to do this since nine o'clock and I've not been off the phone long enough to do anything. Right, so where am I at? This is me, this is honesty, this is just raw. You're just going to get me as I am today. I've just come off the phone from a hospital and I am so angry. <laughs> I don't want it to show in the video because I'm not angry with myself, I'm angry with not even the NHS, I'm just angry with the system that goes from GPs to hospitals and back up and down and round about. But I don't want it to come across on my video that I'm uptight and angry because I'm not. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm fine. Um, right, let me take a breath and start again. I'm going to ask Joe to show you my book, uh, which... Um, You'll see from it the last few weeks' results where I got up to. Uh, oh, we moved on to a new page there. <laughs> oh, right. Well, you can uh, show them that after you show them the new right. page. Which bit you show first? I'll show the, today's page first. Right. Yep, 1604. Yeah. So today I weigh exactly 11 stone. Show last week's? The week before's? Mm, yep. That means I'm a half a pound up on where I was last week. Not a problem. I. Um, I'm trying to deal with not being a perfectionist because I think I am my own worst enemy. I try too hard sometimes and when I don't get it 100% right then I self-sabotage. So the fact that I'm half a pound up this week, I'm not allowing that to influence where I act or react from this moment on. I want to just get on with a day on plan and uh, that's okay, that feels comfortable. So. That's where I'm at, 11 stone. Now, do you know, I did a video a good while ago and it was something about, I want a weight that starts with an eight. I think today I'd be bloody fine if it started with a nine. <laughs> Just like, right, Jane, where are we going from here? When, when I did last week's video, um, after I'd finished, I came off the camera and I said to Jo, oh, blow. I meant to say how good it felt to be in the next stone down. So I was 10 stone 13 and a half. This morning, I'm really glad I didn't say it last week because it just shows, you know, um, saying that and being that um, didn't help me to continue going down. It, it, I was saying it off camera and, you know, I feel so much better. I'm in the tens again, I, you know, I'm motivated, blah, 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 blah. And I haven't had a bad week. In fact, I've had a very similar week to the last two weeks. Um, so I'm just accepting that this is this is the result I get for this week. I'm half a pound up. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video that said I want to start a new chapter or turn a new page or those two things combined. I can't remember the exact title. And on, on that video, um, I mean, I've had, I think, more views than I generally get on my videos. Now, I'm not in this for the viewing numbers because I'm not in this for the money. Viewing numbers and such like, only a number of subscribers and things, only count for anything if you're actually doing this for money. Um, otherwise, it's lovely to see the numbers. Um, and it's lovely to know that people are interested in following your journey. But I don't do this for any financial reason at all. I do this because I am trying to self-motivate myself. I'm trying to be accountable to myself and sometimes it works sometimes it works really well but there are reasons and there are seasons so my season at the moment has been not so good my reason for continuing is because I will not let this beat me it's beat me too many times before so I put this video up a couple of weeks ago as I say it was about starting a new chapter turning a new page and um, didn't get to read my comments for a few days and then only answered the neural ones and was dragged away to do other things and eventually got round to reading a comment from somebody called, I think it was Miss, I don't know if you'd say Ello, E-double L-O, I think it was. And um, um, in this comment, the lady um, said that I had bloomed. <laughs> it was like, I answered the comment politely because I, I don't just ignore comments. I mean, if something was outright abusive, I'd just ask Joe to remove it. You do get the odd comment that is linked to dodgy stuff and you just remove it or you ignore it or whatever. That's all part and parcel of doing YouTube, isn't it? I don't think uh, I'm worried about haters and I'm not worried about trolls and stuff like that. It's, it's, that's, I'm a little tiny channel in the back of a cupboard somewhere 
when you look at these big massive channels and the influences and the effect that they have on people's lives, I'm not in that um, category. I'm a little tiny channel, happy to be on the bottom shelf at the back of a cupboard. But you get a comment that says like, you know, oh wow, I can't even remember the exact wording and I'm not going to go back and read it again, but to, in effect, I've bloomed. Well, I would have loved to have answered that comment with what my best friend uses as one of her top phrases, which is, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> it's like, I'm blind, love, but I'm not stupid. Did you think I hadn't noticed? You know, when you put your underwear on, you're going to notice if your knickers are a bit tight, aren't you? Fortunately, I haven't had to go up a size because I don't actually have any bigger ones. But talking about it this week with a dear, dear friend called Susan, Help me to get the whole thing in perspective in my mind again. And I think I have had like a thousand pound weight lifted off my shoulders. I am what I am. I am who I am. What you see is what you get. Yes, I weigh 11 stone today. But you know what? When I started this journey, I weighed 22 stone. So even at 11 stone, I am half the woman I used to be physically. Mentally, I'm twice the woman I used to be. And stuff like that, you don't even need a thick skin for it to wash over you when you realise that it doesn't matter that I weigh 11 stone today. It doesn't matter that somebody looks at me and goes, wow, you've bloomed and feels the need to tell me that. What matters is what I'm doing about it, how I'm feeling about it, what, whether I'm acting on it or reacting to it. And I can only do as much as I can physically, emotionally and spiritually do today. I'm not Wonder Woman. I've never claimed to be. I am exactly the same as any other dieter, slimmer, weight loser out there who has ever lost an amount, a sizable amount of weight. Now, as by a sizable amount of weight, I think if you've joined Slimming World, and that's what I know about Slimming World, if you've joined Slimming World, you have to have seven pounds to lose. For some people, that is a sizable amount of weight. If that's your starting place, you know, and you feel uncomfortable, seven pounds is a lot of weight to lose. For some of us who've lost multiple stones, you know, albeit two stone, four stone, six stone, eight stone, ten, in my case at the moment, 12 stone. And at my biggest loss, I had lost 13 and a half stone. For some of us, I think we really are aware, if we've got any sort of brain at all, that the easiest thing to do is going to be to go back to where we started. And we've seen a lot of people do this on YouTube. And the reason we can easily go back to where we started is because when we lose the fat from our bodies, not water weight, when we start to get into the fat, the, the long-term brown fat and everything, when we lose that, we're left with multiple thousands of empty fat cells. Now, in my naivety, and I have mentioned this in a video before, I imagined that as those fat cells emptied, you know, imagine it like bubble wrap, that as they emptied, then oh, they disappeared. Well, they don't. And it's a scientific fact. They stay there and they wait for us to fill them up again. And that's what I've been doing. I've been refilling my little fat sacks. But now I'm in a place, and after talking to Susan, and thanks, Susan, you were, you were brilliant this week. I didn't ringer to talk about that but it was something that came up in conversation the reality is yes i am a couple of stone heavier than i'd like to be but that doesn't make me a bad person that doesn't make me a failure and as i've said on my channel before of people with substantial weight losses and now i'm talking big weight loss i'm not talking half a stone i'm talking to maybe I don't know, in my head I'm saying, say you've lost over five, seven, nine, eleven, whatever, stone. Of those people with the substantial weight losses, it is a known fact, not a speculation, it's a known fact that only 5% of us will keep the weight off. 95% of us will gain it all back. And I think revisiting that this week has helped me to stop and think which percentage do I really want to be in? I want to be in the 5%. And as far as I'm concerned, at this moment in time, at 11 stone with an 11 stone loss, I am still in the 5%. And I'm motivated, fired up and intending to stay there. 
I can hang my hat on all the medical problems we've got going on around us at the moment. I can hang my hat on COVID. I can, you know, blame all of these things. But the truth of the matter is, I am what I eat. And I know that there are some foods I just cannot entertain. Now, one of the things I've been looking at this week with regard to Slimming World is the claim that Slimming World make that nothing, absolutely nothing, is off limit. Now, I want to believe that, and I, and, and I do believe in this plan, but in my heart of hearts, I don't believe that statement. Nothing is off limits. Looking at what I've got on a daily basis, sorry, am I leaning too far forward, Joe? No, I'm okay right. this. Looking at what I've got on a daily basis, okay, I've got two A choices, I've got one B choice. I've got five to 15 sins, and if I max that out every day, there's no problem with me having 15 sins a day. We are not, um, under the new Slimming World teaching that's going on at the moment, um, encouraged to go below five. We are not encouraged to go over 15. We are not encouraged to do weekly 105 sins anymore. And we are definitely not encouraged to roll over our sins in the way that you can at WW. It's a different plan. So I've got five to 15 sins on a daily basis. If I don't use them, I lose them, okay? So that gives me then as much free food, and as much speed food as I want to eat to be satisfied and not left hungry. In reality, all of those foods have calories. So if I'm gonna eat a mountain of pasta, a mountain of rice, a mountain of potatoes, um, a 400 gram pack of pork, not pork, ham, stuff like that. I'm not eating meat at the moment, I am eating a bit of fish. But if I'm going to eat all of those things, all of those things have calories. This is not a magic plan. But bottom line, the things I've been wanting to eat lately don't fall within the plan. So I might come in and I might say, I want that new Cadbury's chocolate bar, which I did the other day. I want that new Cadbury's chocolate bar that's got honeycomb, nuts and fudge in it. Now, the bar's £1.65. It's about the same size as a £1 bar of Cadbury's dairy milk. I don't know how many sins it was. I don't know how many calories it was. I didn't inquire either because I didn't want to know. That's truthful. But what I do know is it sure as hell wasn't 15 sins. It really wasn't. It couldn't possibly have been. So when the plan says nothing is off limits, nothing is, you know, no, there's nothing you can't have. Okay, so the other day I wanted a piece of cake. There was a coffee cake in the house. I wanted a piece of coffee cake. I had a substantial piece of cake. There's no way that was 15 sins. And I don't mean it was less. I mean it was obviously more. Because when you look at how many grams of cake you can have for a number of sins and I mean I could ask Joe to look this up for me if he's have you got a chance to go on the output yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah. But look for something like a coffee cake or any kind of cake Joe let's get a reality check on this you cannot have a cream cake you cannot have a jam and cream scone you cannot have a tub of Ben and Jerry's ice cream you cannot have any of those things which are the things when I'm in a in a needy place, shall I say. They're the things I want to reach for. You cannot have any of those things within 15 sins. So stuff is off limit. I could have a probably a half. No, I don't know if I could even have half a jam and cream scone. But I don't want half a jam and cream scone. When I'm in that resentful, I don't want to be on a diet mode. I want three jam and cream scones. People might say to me, you had a gastric band fitted 10, 11 years ago, 11 years ago. My gastric band isn't tight. I could eat six jam and cream scones followed by a whole coffee cake and it would have be a problem. A sixth of the cake for yeah. eleven. Right, so I could have a, and that was the one I actually had or I don't know, that's just a Victoria sponge. A Victoria sponge. Yeah, right, so I Victoria could have a sixth sponge. of a Victoria sponge for eleven sins. That's Well what do you do with the other five? That's a good question, Joe, because you wouldn't eat it. <laughs> Yeah, so if I'm going to say today, and I am not the kind of person, in all honesty, who could go out, go to Mark's, Asda or anywhere else, and buy a Victoria sandwich and eat a sixth of it. Because the other five slices, or well, supposedly, would be shouting at me from the cupboard and driving me mental. So when Slimming World says to me, you know... They'd be out of date by the time you had the sins for them. 
Oh yeah? Because I could have a slice a day for six days. If that don't work for me. So I think what I'm trying to say is I've got to get back to the way I used to work this plan. You see, I've only ever vlogged since I was at maintenance. I didn't vlog my weight loss journey. To get to Target, I was 100% on plan, 100% of the time. I recall, you know, three months before, no, two and a half months before I got to, to um, Target, my best friend died suddenly. That took the bottom out of my world. I mean, we had been best friends for nearly 40 years. That took the bottom out of my world, but I was so on track that not even that pushed me off plan, right? So I kept going 100% on plan, 100% of the time, and that's how I got to target. And if I want to get back to anything like the weight I really want to be today, I have got to be 100% on plan, 100% of the time and stop all this indulgence and eating for resentment reasons because I can't do it any other way. I really can't do it any other way. So for me, there are things that just don't work. I mean, one of the things that I, what I'm gonna have for my tea today, one of the things I'm thinking of having for my tea today is probably 15 cents. Because what I'm fancying is a fish finger sandwich, maybe two slices of brown wholemeal nimble, which is really nice by the way, that's a bee choice. And I'd have to spread it with a little salad cream to make it taste like a proper fish finger sandwich. I don't use butter. And anybody who keeps telling me you can spread two slices of toast with one teaspoon of butter, please come and show me how you do it. Because I think that's impossible. Right, so, so my bread, my salad cream, my three fish fingers, I'm looking at Oh, hang on a minute, about 14, 13, 14 cents for that. So then you've got to take into account your lunch. Well, we've just made a sin-free bolognese sauce with corn mince, ready for lunch. My breakfast, I had Weetabix, so I've used my beach ones. So there isn't a lot of wiggle room there, is there? If you want to have something like a, a fish finger sandwich with three fish fingers in, which is, I mean, they're two each, the ones I have, that's real food. But I can't put much with, well I could put a salad with it, couldn't I or something, but you know me, I don't really like salad. But what I'm saying is nothing's off limit, nothing's off limit. Ideally, ideally I would like two slices of proper sized bread, I would like four fish fingers. But if I go down that road, I'm over 20 cents on that. By the time I put my salad cream on. So I think we do have to accept Slimming world does have limits. And maybe it's the limits and the boundaries that were the, the thing that got me to target in, in the first place because I stuck to those limits. I followed those boundaries. I didn't push my luck the way I do today. And after six years at group, almost six years at group, and you know, I had five years at Target. And I had more than five years at Target. I'm under exaggerating. I had five and three quarter years at Target. I shouldn't sell myself short. I'm now realising that if I want what this plan offers, I've got to go back to doing it the way I did it in the beginning, which is 100% on plan. I can't have a slice of cake because I don't want a sixth of a Victoria sandwich. Have a look how much a jam and cream scone is, Jo. You know, something like that. That's what floats my boat. If I'm going to go down that road, I want something I can have one individual thing now, I don't even know if you can walk into Marks and Spencer's and buy one jam and cream scone. They're probably coming twos. I don't live with anybody who would eat the other one. So then I'm back in that same position. I'm tormenting and, and sabotaging myself by thinking, oh, I've only got to eat it this out the house. Who knows that feeling besides me? Like 14 and a half each. 14 and, and who's is that? Marks and Spencer. A Marks and Spencer's one. But they become in boxes of two. I would imagine they do. You know, that's your sin's gone for the day, isn't it? Then you've got to have two totally sin-free meals. Yeah, so that's where I'm at today. I'm thinking out loud. I'm, I'm verbalising what's going around in my head about how I need to work this plan. But the one thing I do know, and I do accept now, is that, you know, following my conversation with Susan a couple of days ago, 
and, and actually realistically accepting what that lady said. You know, compared to where I was six months ago, yeah, I've bloomed. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. But compared to where I was when I started this journey, I am still half the woman I used to be. But I've got more guts, more faith in the plan, more courage and more confidence than I ever had before. So I'm not a loser. I am not failing. Um, I'm just me. What you see is what you get. And uh, that's it for this week. We're at 11 stone. We'll see where we are next Friday. We, the royal we. I'll see where I am next Friday when I weigh in. And I'm not going to say I'll never see 11 stone again because I sure as hell don't know that. You know, you go to um, some slimming groups and you get weighed and you're big, big, big like I was when I usually joined. And often the consultant would say, I promise you, you'll never see that weight again. Well, love, I promise you, I generally did. <laughs> But you know, I, I, what, what I think about Naomi, when, when I joined Naomi's group, I was 13 stone eight. Um, I'd lost like eight and a half stone before I joined Slimming World this time. Naomi never said that to me. She never put any pressure on me. She just said, one day at a time, stick to the plan. And that's what I did. And it works. And I still say, hand on heart, with confidence, I don't think any plan works better than Slimming World. And I'm really sad at the moment. I've been, I've been I, I, you know me, I'm honest, I'll, say, I'll tell it like it is, or as, as I see it. I've been trawling around YouTube trying to find some motivational Slimming World stuff to watch. Because um, it's no good me watching other diet plans. I watch Michelle and she's doing brilliantly, but I'm not a Weight Watcher, I'm a Slimming Worlder. Um, and, I, and I'm coming across uh, videos at the moment that are Slimming World and Calorie Counting. I'm not sure. Well, I am sure. I am sure that Slimming World don't calorie count. If you join Slimming World, the company prides itself on the fact that they don't count calories. Now, I looked at that and thought, maybe I should try that. No, it didn't work. Because you don't need to do both. You do one or the other. Then, there's a lady drives around our area in a car with Cambridge diets all over it. I've even thought, maybe I should do that. No, Jane, don't work. Because nobody can do that for the rest of their life. And what I'm waking up to this morning and realising is, if I don't want to be the woman who's bloomed, if I want to be the woman who feels lean, then all I have to do is follow the plan, one day at a time, 100%. And it promises everything in that book, but not only does it promise it, it delivers it. It delivers it. So... The title of this video today is probably going to be something like nothing tastes as good as dot 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 because I woke up this morning and I actually put it on my phone as a reminder nothing tastes as good as being lean feels. I remember one day uh, last summer walking down the road there's a, a conservation field behind where we live walking down the road to cross the field with Joe, and I was wearing a skin-tight t-shirt and some skin-tight jeans. And I walked along thinking, I feel bloody amazing. I felt so lean. At that time, I was probably somewhere around eight stone 12. Probably, yeah, just under nine stone. And for the first time in my life, from the top of my head to the soles of my feet, I felt lean. Every bit of me was moving in sync. When I'm fat, I know I'm fat because I walk from my knees down and I waddle. <laughs> when I'm lean, the whole of my legs sort of flow, my body. I'm not holding anything in, I'm just relaxed and feeling great. That's what I want to get back to. And that's what I will get back to, no doubt. Because Slimming World can do that for me. All I have to do is put the work in. So thanks for listening. If you stay to the end, stay safe, be well, and we'll see you next week. Bye.